A man joins forces with a band of revitalized warriors after learning that they can explain his recurring dreams about locations he has never seen. Soon, he learns his destiny is to protect the infinite cycle of life and reincarnation from a lunatic who wants to destroy it. Is he up to the task? Let's find the answer in the movie. In the world, there are people with the ability of remembering all their prior lives who are referred to as infinites. There have always been two camps competing for dominance in the infinite, the believers and the nihilists. The believers want to share their insights for the greater good of society. The nihilists, on the other hand, are the ones who are stereotypically negative about their abilities. They try to employ the advanced technologies they acquire to end all life on Earth, including reincarnation. Given that, the race between the optimist believer Treadway and the pessimist nihilist bethirst over whether or not to eradicate all life on Earth is in full swing. The two infinites spend their last life in Mexico City, where Treadway tries to evade law enforcement with the egg, and Bathurst follows along, trying to take the object. Bathurst is about to activate the egg that serves as a weapon to wipe out all life on Earth, so Treadway steals it from him just in time. While Treadway is in the race to escape, he gets a call from his compeers, Abel and Leona, wondering if he has gotten the egg. He responds yes and cautions Abel that he may be delayed on his way to him due to the large number of police cars pursuing him. After hearing this, Leona becomes concerned and expresses her dismay to Abel, telling him that she can't believe Bathurst would throw away his long-standing friendship with Treadway for an egg. Abel agrees, saying that Bathurst is no longer the man they once knew. Then, he accelerates the automobile toward their agreed-upon meeting spot to retrieve the egg from Treadway. Meanwhile, Treadway spies a helicopter overhead, prompting him to reverse his driving before firing at the chopper's navigation light. After taking it down, he instructs Abel to meet him at the freeway so they can bypass the city. When Treadway reaches their meetup point, he suddenly discovers that the police have blocked off the highway. Therefore, he comes up with a new plan instructing Abel to meet him at the base of the crane because he intends to leap from his car onto the tower crane. However, the crane is 150 feet from the bridge, causing Abel to concern, so he advises against doing it. But instead of listening, Treadway reminds him that Abel must remember to look inside if he fails with his plan and does not make it through the dangerous jump off. He then grabs the case and leaps from his car onto the tower crane before Abel's can even react. Fortunately, Treadway makes it through, but Abel's and Leona do not, as Bathurst eventually arrives on the crane's base at the same time they do. Given that, he can do nothing but watch as Bathurst brutally murders Abel and Leona. Time passes in New York City, the new life of Infinites begins, where a man named Evan McCauley experiences a startling awakening from a nightmare. He then stands up to take his antipsychotic medications, only to discover there's only one pill left. As he takes the last tablet, Evan tries to recall his dream to figure out why everything seems so real. But soon, he ignores the issue and carries on with his life as if nothing unusual has happened. Later, Evan dresses up and attends his job interview, during which he gets rejected by the human resources manager due to some doubts about his background. This includes his confinement in a mental hospital for two weeks and violent outbursts when he attacked a store patron. Evan tries to justify the outburst by claiming that he was protecting the waitress from attempted harassment. Also, his case has been dismissed and no charges have been filed. However, the HR manager is not convinced. He returns home again without a job because his prospective employer is unwilling to accept the risk of hiring someone with a history of violence and a diagnosis of schizophrenia. Since this is the case, Evan begins worrying that his landlord will kick him out because he hasn't paid rent and his prescription supply is running low. So he mulls over the idea of forging a katana for a local mafia as an alternative means of income. While crafting, Evan realizes that he never recalled being trained for this skill, but somehow possesses it, allowing him to forge a sword without a mistake. A while later, Evan visits the local gangster, Ronnie, to sell the Kimotsuki-styled iron katana. Ronnie takes it and is impressed by the quality of the craftsmanship, quickly instructing his gang member to give Evan the anti-psychotic pills as payment. 
When Evan is about to take it, he notices that there are only 55 pill packages instead of the agreed 60, so he asks Ronnie's gangmate to give him the appropriate amount. Meanwhile, Ronnie wants to try the katana on the unconscious woman lying on the couch when Evan stops him, warning that the carbon-treated steel blade might be fatal. But Ronnie refuses to listen, and his gangmate begins pulling out a gun to his head. Evan then takes the katana from Ronnie and uses it to demonstrate his point by cutting off the gangmate's finger. His next move is to grab Ronnie and send the woman running. Evan puts the katana to Ronnie's throat and threatens him to administer the pills. Ronnie complies and escapes after handing over the bottle of drugs. Once outside, Evan is taken aback when he hears police sirens indicating a coming raid conducted on Ronnie's apartment. So, he decides to go over the brick wall to flee, but stops when he suddenly sees a vision of a woman pleading for assistance on a snowy, icy mountain. It seems like Evan's schizophrenia symptoms flare up, causing him to hallucinate and jump over the wall inadvertently. When he passes out, the New York Police Department immediately takes him into custody. Meanwhile, one of the Infinites, Brian Porter, receives news about the NYPD picking up Evan for drug dealing that has gone south. The police also recovered the katana forged by Evan, which Porter then examines and discovers the forging technique of it hasn't been used since Edo, Japan. Therefore, he calls Nora Brightman, who is revealed to be Leona's reincarnation, and explains that. Due to this, Nora concludes that Evan is Treadway's reincarnation since he is the only person who can forge the sword. Thinking that Bathurst would also find out about Evan's situation, she decides to rescue Evan at the police station. On the other hand, Evan regains consciousness and finds himself in the investigation room where Bathurst has come to question him. He expects Bathurst to question the weapon he crafted, but instead, he gets confused when Bathurst prompts him to look back on the times he has spent with him in the past. Evan tells Bathurst that he doesn't understand a word he said and doesn't recall meeting him as well. Given this, Bathurst starts to talk about the circumstances of his birth where the doctors saw the words, look inside, carved into Evan's chest using a box cutter. He also knows that Evan tried to kill himself in a vehicle incident, which is how he wound up with a steel plate in his skull. Afterward, he spent his formative years in and out of mental institutions and foster care due to his mental illness. But Thirst wants to know the meaning of look inside, which provoked Evan's mental condition, yet Evan still doesn't know the answer to his questions. To wake his past life memory, but Thirst then empties his bag, showing ancient items inside of it to Evan and asking whether one of them belonged to him in the past. Then, he pulls out the sheriff's gun and plays Russian roulette with him, force Evan to comply. This prompts Evan to feel frightened and grab the slingshot Bathurst hurls at him, leading to his hyperventilating vision of his past life. Once he recovers, he grabs the revolver off the table and prepares himself to fire Bathurst, only to discover that the gun is empty. Bathurst laughs at him, confirming that Evan is indeed Treadway S. Suddenly, Nora slams her armored car through the wall and storms into the room, yelling at Evan to get inside. Evan immediately acts without hesitation after hearing Nora's command. Afterward, they flee together from the police station, away from Bathurst. On the run, she spots Bathurst and other law enforcement blocking their way, so she hands the controls to Evan and fires an explosive device toward them. They then escape in the bulletproof automobile while Bathurst fails to capture them. Nora retracts the steering wheel from Evan afterward and introduces herself. She tells him that the man who questioned him is Bathurst, whom he knew in the past. But since he is in the new life, Nora assures him that she will explain everything once they reach the private airport. Once they arrive, Nora tells Evan that it is not mental breakdown he's been having, but rather a perfectly natural memory reawakening due to his reincarnation. To clear things up for him, she asks whether he ever feels compelled to visit a location he has never been to, or can quickly acquire new abilities as if recalling them from long ago. Evan then answers affirmatively and tells Nora that he tried telling a dozen therapists about his feelings, yet they still see it as Evan's hallucinations. But according to Nora, his visions are memories, and if Evan wants answers to his questions, he must board the plane with her. Evan accepts her deal. Upon boarding the plane, Nora introduces herself as one of the infinite, 
saying that around 500 people worldwide have the ability to recall all their past lives, making themselves part of the infinite. After that, she describes the infinite's two factions, the world killers and the believers, of whom Nora is a part. When Evan misunderstands the meaning of believers, Nora clarifies that their ability to reincarnate is a responsibility, which means they have the free will to choose whether or not to leave humanity in a better situation than they found it. Still feeling confused, Evan opts to sleep it off. The two soon reach the hub, a place where he can regain his memories. Once inside, Nora takes him to the training facility where everyone, including instructor Trace, bows to him. Evan gets more befuddled, so Nora explains that they are hoping he is Heinrich Treadway, the only person who can save them from Bathurst's plan of wiping out humanity on Earth. They then go to another facility where Evan is introduced to Garrick, the Infinite's head of technology and research. Garrick welcomes him to her virtual sandbox, expressing how grateful she is to see him again, then begin her examination. Once done, Garrick uses a hologram to show Bathurst's past life and tells them how he lost faith during a war and wanted to stop reincarnating. Bathurst spent 300 years creating the egg that can be used to exterminate all life on Earth. However, when Evan was Treadway, he broke into Bathurst's lab, stealing the egg and hiding it. Treadway also murdered everyone involved in the egg's creation, making it impossible for Bathurst to recreate it. As Nora guides Evan through the recollections of his last cycle, she asks where Evan places the egg before he passes away. But he still doesn't recall anything, so they move on to the next stage of retrieving Evan's memories. Meanwhile, Bathurst calls Porter out of the blue, saying that Porter's contacts with the NYPD revealed that he was responsible for implanting steel in Evan's skull. Thus, he believes that Porter has information on Evan's exact location. Porter immediately hangs up and tries to flee, but Bathurst shoots his hands with a longbow from another building, rendering him immobile. Bathurst then breaks into Porter's room and blackmails him into disclosing Evan's whereabouts by brute force. When Porter refuses to answer, Bathurst pulls out his dethroner gun and kills him. At the hub, Garrick and Nora show Treadway's dead body, which has been preserved in a cratonic acid matrix so that his cells can continue to function. Afterward, Nora reveals that Treadway even managed to master the ability of controlling the energy in his environment. Since Evan is Treadway's reincarnation, he has powers beyond what he can ever fathom. The revelation piques Evan's attention, he then takes Nora's advice to practice combat skills with instructor Trace and her assistant so that his body and mind create new neural connections to regain his memories. He also lets Garrick shock his brain into systemic sync, after which Garrick observes enhanced activity in all of the memory areas while he keeps practicing battle. Later, Evan visits Trace's assistant, who is reverse engineering Bathurst's dethroner gun, the bullet of which can pull out an infinite's consciousness and soul onto a digital chip. The dethroner gun has already claimed the lives of several believers, imprisoning them in digital purgatory and preventing them from reincarnating. After that, Evan sees Nora in her room and discovers images of people with varied faces, which he guesses are Nora's reincarnations. He also spots her picture with Abel and gets curious about how Nora and Abel find each other in a new life. Therefore, Nora explains that infinites experience a reawakening when they are young and will fully recover their memories by the time they reach puberty. Once they regain consciousness, she and Abel will meet at the beginning located at Angkor Wat. But since Abel gets dethroned by Bathurst in his last life, his soul is now trapped on a computer. The following day, Evan's brain is in a systemic sync process and is closer to answering Nora's question about where he hides the egg. However, his recollection only reveals him fighting Bathurst in the tower crane and his case opens, but without the egg inside. Seeing Evan's brain spiking, Nora commands Garrick to shut down the machine. Evan wakes afterward, and Garrick tells him he had trouble remembering Treadway's recollection due to the trauma he had suffered from accidents in his earlier life. Also, Garrick cannot provide the help Evan needs to recover his memories. The only person who can help him is Artisan, an infinite with an advanced machine. Meanwhile, Bathurst commands his troops to invade the hub at dawn to capture Evan, only to find Garrick and the other infinites inside. That being the case, he gathers the infinites, including Garrick, to her virtual sandbox and threatens to dethrone them if they don't reveal Evan's location. 
Concurrently, Evan, Nora, Trace, and her assistant safely arrive at Artisan's laboratory. Nora introduces Evan to him, who needs to get his memory back before Bathurst captures him. So, Artisan powers up his machine and explains that it is made for Evans because it can completely reboot his mind. However, to do so, the machine will push his limit by drowning him. Evan has no choice but to take the risk, for he can't let anybody else get hurt when Bathurst finds the egg, as Evan enters the machine and later recovers after having a total memory recall. Afterward, he reveals to everyone in the laboratory that Treadway cut into his belly and placed the egg inside. Meanwhile, Bathurst hears the revelation, watching a live video of the events inside Artisan's lab on his phone. After ordering Agent Shin to return to the hub and take Treadway's body, Bathurst starts targeting Artisan's lab with his security, so Artisan directs the four to safety. As they are ready to depart, Trace's assistant volunteers to stay and fend off the intruders. Even though he manages to defeat some enemies, Bathurst ultimately succeeds in killing him. Afterward, Bathurst gets inside a plane, takes the egg from Treadway's body, and returns to his base to secure it with a protective device. On the other hand, Evan wakes up in Artisan's safe house after passing out due to his operation earlier and learns that Nora went after Bathurst. Seeing Evan still bleeding, Artisan refuses to let him follow her. But Evan does not listen, so Artisan gives him his automobile key to reach Bathurst's base faster. Upon his arrival, he spots Nora being attacked by Bathurst's security in the forest. Therefore, he immediately drives to shield her and tells her to get in the car. After that, he takes Nora to Bathurst's base, where they kill every security guard before entering. Although they manage to vanquish the adversaries, Bathurst has to board an aircraft to take off. Because of that, Nora lets Evan go after him while she stays on the base to release the Believer's souls from the computer chips by destroying the hard drives. Evan successfully boards Bathurst's aircraft by slowing the wind down using his ability. Once inside, he fights off Bathurst and cuts the rope that holds the egg-containing device. Seeing the object float away from the plane, he decides to take the plunge. Bathurst also jumps off and attacks him. As the two continue to fight in midair, Evan pulls out the egg again to prevent it from detonating. Afterward, he takes the dethroner from Bathurst and shoots him, ending the egg chase permanently. As Evan drowns in the ocean with the egg, Nora and Artisan, on the other hand, successfully destroy the chips to free the Believer's souls, including Abel. Once again, time passes by, Nora and Abel get reincarnated into young people and reunite at Anchor Wat. The older artisan remains alive and visits Evan to return his forged katana. The movie ends with Evan, who has reincarnated into a young Indo man who practices combat and martial arts, successfully recalling his memories after touching the sword.